Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to today's question and answer session on how do you sheet question? There are different type of question for MRCS exam. Uh, they are EMRCS recalls and Fauzia sheets and others. Here today's discussion on Fauzia sheets and Fauzia sheets is one of the question bank who is uh, fulfill your desire for better marks in the MRCS exam. So here is the question. Um, so first of all, we have to read the question very carefully. A 30 years old alcoholic man present with acute severe upper abdominal pain and vomiting. He is admitted to the intensive therapy unit with a diagnosis of severe acute pancreatitis. 48 hours later, he develops peripheral paresthesia and carpopedal spasm. The most likely underlying metabolic abnormality is. So after the careful reading, we have to find out the key points here. First of all, we can see here a 30 years old man and he, he is alcoholic. He presents severe acute upper abdominal pain with vomiting. And she diag he diagnosed as severe acute pancreatitis. And 48 years later, he developed peripheral paresthesia and carpopedal spasm so we have to find out now what is the cause which is responsible for these events so first of all we can see the alcoholic man so in alcoholic uh, person there is every chance of develop pancreatitis and in case of pancreatitis then he develop peripheral paresthesia and carpopedal spasm so we have to find out which cause who is responsible for peripheral paresthesia and carpopedal spasm in case of severe acute pancreatitis here are the options options are hypercalcemia hypernatremia hypocalcemia hypokalemia and hyponatremia so from here we have to be very careful to find out the which of the following ion is responsible for peripheral paresthesia and carpopedal spasm so here it is a box which is collected uh, from the Davidson here we can see the complications of acute pancreatitis as the event starts after the 48 hours so it is the complication of the acute pancreatitis and here the complications we can see first of all SIRS or systemic inflammatory response syndrome then hypoxia then hyperglycemia hypocalcemia reduced serum albumin pancreatic necrosis pancreatic abscess pancreatic pseudosis, pancreatic ascites or pleural effusion and in case of GIT, upper GIT bleeding, vericial hemorrhage, erosion into the colon, duodenal obstruction and obstructive jaundice. So there are different complications and we can see here the hypocalcemia. Hypocalcemia is one of the complications of the acute pancreatitis. So there may be an option of hypocalcemia and we have to find out uh, that the hypocalcemia uh, can causes the carpopedal spasm or not so in the another box we can see here this is, uh, is collected from bailey and love uh, here we can see the complications of the acute pancreatitis and here table number 68.5 um, of uh, bailey love so here the complications of the acute pancreatitis some systemic and some local here we can see in the cardiovascular system and this is important that uh, systemic complication appears in first week that means first seven days the systemic complication is more common and after the first week the local complication develop so we can see the cardiovascular system there may be shock or cardiac arrhythmia then pulmonary acute respiratory distress syndrome so these complications are very grievous we can uh, say from here that the shock shock is one of the major cause of death then arrhythmia then in pulmonary or lung system acute respiratory distress syndrome in case of kidney it may cause the renal failure and in hematological DIC DIC is the most fatal among the all cause because in DIC uh, if fresh frozen plasma is not provided then there is death confirmed and then we can see metabolic in metabolic there may be hypocalcemia, hyperglycemia, and hyperlipidemia. So here, these three 
points is very important for our questions hypocalcemia hyperglycemia and hyperlipidemia here the hypocalcemia and this hypocalcemia we will discuss later that hypocalcemia what can cause the hypocalcemia and the clinical feature for hypocalcemia and some other local complications such as the acute fluid collection around the pancreas then sterile pancreatic necrosis or sometimes infected pancreatic necrosis pancreatic abscess pancreatic pseudosis pancreatic ascites pleural effusion portal or splenic vein thrombosis and pseudo aneurysm so these are the systemic and local complications of the acute pancreatitis now let's see the what can cause the hypocalcemia that means clinical are arising from hypocalcemia here we can see the evaluation of the hypocalcemia in case of hypocalcemia there are different symptoms may arrive there we can see the paresthesia or cramping that means abnormal sensation or ultra sensation in any part of the body or cramping in any part of the body then it may be developed titani may develop carpopedal spasm laryngospasm and seizure so here in the question we saw that there was a paresthesia and carpopedal spasm so paresthesia and carpopedal spasm it occurs due to hypocalcemia that means where the calcium level decreases there may develop paresthesia or cramping or uh, titani or carpopedal spasm or laryngeal spasm or seizure so this two point is very very important that the paresthesia and carpopedal spasm it's developed due to hypocalcemia and hypocalcemia is one of the complication of the acute pancreatitis so here in this uh, case there will be answer hypocalcemia because uh, in the uh, question we can see uh, the person alcoholic person and she was intensive care unit and diagnosed severe acute pancreatitis and after 48 hours later that means two days later and these two days means it is within the past seven days she developed peripheral paresthesia paresthesia and carpopedal spasm these two important clinical feature will demonstrate our answer so here the paresthesia and carpopedal spasm these two are the main feature of the hypocalcemia and in case of acute pancreatitis calcium is uh, reduced and other metabolic uh, uh, abnormality which saw that they are uh, the increase the glucose level and increase the lipid level but here most important is hypocalcemia other options such as hypercalcemia hypernatremia hypokalemia and hyponatremia they are not true in this question so our final answer is hypocalcemia and this hypocalcemia is responsible for this two important clinical picture that is the paresthesia and carpovital spasm thank you